Hey guys, it's Sonia. Remember this piece that I just picked up yesterday? It is a canvas inside a wooden frame and we picked it up together at Goodwill. Um, it was a pretty picture that was in it. My guess is maybe somebody took a picture of their garden, a realistic photo, and they sent it to some sort of canvas place to have it turned into a canvas. And then they found a wooden frame to put it in. Maybe they made it, who knows? Um, so I found it yesterday at Goodwill and I paid $6.99 for it, uh, which is a little bit more than I usually pick up to spend on canvases that I'm going to flip into my own art. But for $6.99, not only do I get the canvas and it's a very big one, it's like 20 by 25 inches. So it's a pretty big size for your wall. So I like that about it. And also it came with the frame. It came with the frame. So I felt like the quality and the, um, the value was there. So we splurged $6.99 and I hauled this thing back to the shop. So if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I love to paint shabby, loose, abstract, flowers loose flowers um, of all types <laughs> in vases and other places and yeah I just I, I love 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 painting flowers and I also love to pair whatever I paint and I don't look off anything when I paint I just kind of like paint from my brain and what I'm feeling and the colors I'm feeling and um, yeah, I usually like to pair it with like an affirmation or something positive, a few little words that I feel that I call the painting. And it's usually a message that, you know, if you're going to put it somewhere in your house, hopefully it's a good reminder to stay focused. And you'll see what I end up calling this um, picture, this picture of this painting in just a little bit because we do add some words onto it. So starting off with my roses, um, you know, just all different shapes colors. I'm using my Junk Monkey um, acrylic set of paints. Um, and what I do is when you open up the Junk Monkey paints, there's like this little tray that they all sit in. So I squeeze, I'm holding it in my hand here, and I just kind of squeeze out all the colors. I'm going to add some brown here for the vase, see if I like that, how I'm, you know, kind of liking it. I think it's cool too when you have a background to paint over. Um, you know, you, you it's okay. It's completely okay to show those pops of colors coming forward you know a little bit of the hidden canvas beneath it some artists will create their own what's called chaos layers or under layers so that when they paint um, you know these little pops of color come through so I think this canvas lends itself to this project quite nicely so here I am now um, just you know I've painted the laid down the flowers in the center and now I'm picking the blue that I have here and just adding some sky, some blue behind it. And when you're painting, you know what, you can change stuff as you go. And you'll see that here in just a second. But this is call, called where you do what's called negative painting and you paint the area that's behind the flowers. So we're gonna add some blue here. I felt it kind of looked sky-like and red and blue greens play off of each other quite nice with these colors. And honestly, you can basically leave in the um, in the bunch of flowers here in your art, whatever you want to leave. But you don't want it to be too perfect because the best art is, you know, that makes you look and just kind of scan it. And, you know, everything is not picture perfect. It's just, you know, it's interesting to the eye. Your eye wants to look at it and try to figure out what's going on here. So first I have brown. Now I'm like, you know what, I'm going to change the base of this the brown is kind of peeking through in parts um, and now I'm gonna add some green because I want a more vibrant pop of color so we're just playing here I I don't even completely wash the color off my paintbrush when I do this because I want it to be a family there's that little tray I'm talking about there so if you do get the paints they're on my Etsy store just keep that little tray as your uh, painters palette um, it works perfect for that reason and I'm doing this just all with a brush. It's very shabby done with a brush. Sometimes I play with a palette knife, you know, but I, I try to keep things loose. Use a long brush. Keep your hand more towards the end of the brush versus the front and just have fun with it. Now I'm going over with white and I've decided, you know what, I'm going to go over white over the blue with the white, allow a little of the blue to come through, but it not be completely solid. And we'll allow a little bit of it to come through, trace out our florals. 
by the way, um, I've been getting messages of, you know, whether I not or I, whether or not I will have candles and um, my artwork in this week's whatnot sale. And I am indeed working on some paintings. I have a bunch of paintings actually that I've got done. So I will be running a few of those, any new stuff as well, um, and some candles that I've been working on. So that will be part of my show on Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on whatnot. Because the truth is, progress is progress. I just stamped those words on to the piece. And that's what I just felt. That's what this painting needed. So those are the words that I selected. Progress is progress. Um, you know, no matter how slow you go, if you're moving forward, you are moving forward. Progress is progress, and that is a win. So now I'm just doing some doodles and sketches and just having fun with this piece sitting on the floor here looking at kind of like the abstract parts of the flower and going what do I want to identify as a leaf you know can I change this blob into a little flower and it just puts a little bit of detail what's really cool is you know me I love gold so I love the gold paint pen and um when you have gold into these paintings, the cool thing is that when it catches the light, you get that really pretty shimmer. So the leaves really shimmer really nice in this piece. I'm trying to, here I am being like, okay, what am I gonna work with next? I'm gonna put some little circles here, some dots, some marks, and I'm gonna add in some more like fern type um, little sprigs here. That's cute. I like that. I'm making some flowers over here. So I am going to regularly share what I've been painting. You'll probably find it here on this channel, on my Sonia Miller channel. Things that I have found, thrifted, and I'm flipping for resale, but I'm putting my own spin onto it. Um, yeah, I cannot stop painting. Paint, even though I take breaks from painting, um, I always feel called to go back. Like It's just something within me that has this need to create. And so, um, anyway, kicking off my season of creating here um, and sharing it with you as I do, and hopefully it inspires you. And also, um, I just put this piece up on my Etsy store, so I'm going to start sharing my art again that I do. Uh, thank you guys for all the encouragement. It was really nice, too, the fact that you guys were like, are you going to do some art? Can you sell some art on your uh, whatnot sale? So I really appreciate that. That just it inspires me to keep painting and um, I'm glad that somebody else out there loves my artwork. That means a lot to me. So hopefully it encourages you. Oh, by the way, I'm just doing little scribbles here in the centers of the flowers just for some fun, for some funness here. It can be whatever, whatever you want it to be. Pure creative control. Yep, just kind of doodling. What am I doing over here? Oh, I'm doing a leaf. And you can outline with like gold and black and um you know you can do any colors that you want there's so many different colors of paint markers so if you enjoy painting um it's fun to just kind of embellish what you've done with some doodles i was always that person in school that you know it, i would doodle in the corners and draw flowers i would draw flowers oh my goodness bunches of flowers like i can remember doing this even when i was in in um you know, junior high and beyond, just if my test was over, I'm gonna doodle. I might be drawing flowers, I might be drawing Garfield, but I'm going to doodle. I added a little something to the pot as well, just to keep it interesting down there. I felt it needed some texture or something. Stanley's in the background, I'm like, come over Stanley, you can be my art critic. Um, but yeah, just to kind of jazz up the pot there, um, would be it would be really fun as well to do scrap paper to create your vase with. Um, you could stencil. I'm just putting marks all over it. Again, not striving for, for perfection, just the overall. That is a pot of flowers right there. Make no mistake about it. Now we're going to add some gold. Bigger pieces here. Some fern-like. Let's put one on the other side. Maybe uh, right here, perhaps.
Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm liking that. Progress is progress. Oh, that was this was a really fun session to do with all the sketching and no pressure, just having lots of fun. Huh, kitty kitty. What do you think, Stanley? Do you like it? Kitty kitty? Don't walk away from me like that! Kitty kitty! All right, friends. I'm off to the gym. I will see you guys again very soon. The last thing I have to do on this is give it like an overnight dry and then I'll spray it over with an acrylic water-based sealer and uh, that will keep it in great shape. All right, adios, have fun.